All right, the Wes Unsell Jr. era and the nation's capital is over. You know what we got to do? We got to pour one out for my man. Oh, wait, actually, since Ted's a and he doesn't have the balls to fire a legacy hire, uh, Wes actually gets to make the same amount of money to have an easier job in the front office. So never mind. He's good. Must be nice. But nah, for real, man, I'm going to I'm going to remember the Wes era. So many great memories, you know. When I was about to record, I actually thought, has it been three and a half years already? But no, it's only been two and a half. But so many great things have happened, you know, blowing the 35-point lead to the Clippers at home. Uh, worst ever loss in franchise history, 42-point loss at home. Uh, losing back-to-back -back games when we had 20-point leads in each. Uh, overall record of 77 and 130. In two and a half years. Uh, never qualified for the play-in tournament. Just so many great times. It's it's hard to it's hard to keep listing them. Now to be fair to Wes, it is hard to fully judge someone as a coach when your locker room leaders over the course of two and a half years are, you know, Spencer Dinwiddie, Bradley Beal, Kyle Kuzma, Jordan Poole. Of course, the 2021 season will forever live in infamy, the 10 and 3 start. And then the veterans on the team went to Wes and said, yeah, I know we're playing well, but I'm not really getting the numbers I want, so we're going to have to change things up. And then, of course, uh, we changed things up and finished 35 and 47, and things have never been the same since. So that kind of gives you an idea of what kind of coach we were dealing with here. But to be honest, I was completely cool with Wes continuing to be the coach through this season and next season. I'm trying to get two straight number one picks. It's the only way to change things. I guess maybe the front office didn't want him in charge of the young guys we're bringing in. Again, I'd be a lot more worried about cats like Jordan Poole being in the locker room right now than having a bad head coach. Assistant coaches are usually the ones in charge of player development anyway. But I'm telling you, just let just let these cats start playing hard now that Wes is gone and we end up getting like the number four, number five pick instead of the number one pick. Ooh, I'm going to be hot.